More than 26 million Americans have kidney disease, and most don't even know they have it. When kidneys fail, dialysis or a transplant are needed just to stay alive. And the ninth leading cause of death here in the United States, killing more people every year than breast or prostate cancer. March is National Kidney Month, and tomorrow is World Kidney Day. The National Kidney Foundation is encouraging all of us to heart your kidneys. So what do you do? What do the kidneys do? What's the kidney disease? Joining me right now to talk about it is Dr. David Lesser from the University of Maryland Medical Center. Thank you for being so smart in this realm. Kidney disease, what, first off, what do the kidneys do? Let's get that out of the way. Well, the kidneys filter your blood 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and take out all kinds of um, toxins that you know our body produces and that we need to eliminate, and they produce urine. Why do we ignore kidneys so much? Because they just silently do their job. They're like the unsung heroes that yeah. just are all the time making sure that we remove things that are byproducts of the metabolism of our body. The other thing that they do is so important is they regulate the volume. You know, your heart is a big pump, right? Right? And you know, we all know that pumps need you need to supply fluid to a pump for it to work, right? But if you put too much fluid into a pump, the pump gets overwhelmed. So the kidneys are constantly making sure that your heart has just that right amount of fluid in your bloodstream so that it it works optimally at that, the perfect spot. How do we know we have a kidney problem? The problem is it's really hard to know. Really? And the, the, the issues that we're dealing with in the United States with you know, problems with high blood pressure, with obesity, those are the same things that affect our kidneys. So what you need to do to take care of your kidneys is what you need to do to take care of your body in general. So exercise, diet, See your doctor, make sure your blood pressure is under control. If you have high blood pressure, make sure you get medicated because we know that if we can control diabetes, if we can control blood pressure, that we can either prevent our kidneys from being affected or make that kidney problem be much later in life, now which I, is which is better for yeah, us. Yeah, let's talk about, it, especially in the African-American community, Kidney disease is sky high. Why is that? Why are they? Well, because, you know, African Americans have a high rate of high blood pressure and diabetes. So, and then, you know, in the United States, we now have this issue with obesity. Well, obesity increases your blood pressure. It also increases problems with your blood sugar or diabetes. So all of these things come together. And, you know, we've started to talk about a metabolic syndrome, meaning diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. All these things feed on one another. Well, how do we break that cycle. We break that cycle by doing all the things our doctors are telling us to do, like go out and exercise. Even walking a half an hour a day will improve okay. our metabolism, keep our weight down, decrease our risk of diabetes, and decrease our risk of high blood pressure. I remember a gentleman we did a story on a while ago was down at the Inner Harbor looking for a kidney transplant. Is it the, he goes into dialysis every single day, and he's just looking for somebody to donate a kidney, and he's out there trying to promote kidney disease. Is it that bad? I mean, are we it's a it's a huge problem you know it's the ninth leading cause of death and we spend you know it's really uh, we we all know somebody who has had cancer and, and that's thought of as a big deal but we you know renal disease people go to dialysis and if you know someone who's been on dialysis yeah. but it's it's kind of just it's a chronic thing and and uh, we're really just starting to talk to people about hey this is a big deal this is the ninth yeah. leading cause of death if we don't address this and we don't get the message out there that people know that you have to get your blood pressure checked that diabetes has to be treated if we can exercise and keep our weight under control and keep our blood pressure down we're gonna make make the situation better for our kidneys which is gonna help our heart and it's going to help us overall. I think you helped us out. Thank you, doctor, for joining us here tonight about kidney disease and it's the World Kidney Day tomorrow. Yes, and thanks for having me. All right. Thank you, doctor.